Shout out to Super Kid for putting this together. My boy, I haven't seen him in a while. G Money, I'm not even lying to you. I was standing one night in the festival village and somebody tapped me on the shoulder and said, hey, that brown over there checking you. And when I went to go see, I was, to my surprise, He's standing in the village watching me walk around Oak Yards. Yeah. Shout out to my boy. Went through many name changes from Benetton the Menace to Jack Frost. And we just know him now as the original <laughs> Benetton. Benetton on the line with us. Benetton, what's going on? Well, go on, well, go on. They're, they're live on Derek. Bless up, bless up. Yes. Uh, it's good to have you on the air with us. Thank you for joining us, my brother. Yeah, give thanks. I want to say rest in peace to the great DMX. Yeah. yeah, sad day today in sad the world. Sad day in the day in, in, in hip hop. In the world of hip hop. Yeah, yeah, but it's for the music. And, you know, he's been an inspiration to many, including myself. You know? true, Absolutely. True, true. I think the last time I saw you was a jerk festival. We did, I think it was the Jerk Festival in Queens. I saw you there. You was performing. You, you, because you was doing with Maxi right. Priest, I think. You still, you still perform with Maxi Priest or no? No, for the last three years, I've been, I've been solo. Um, I've, you know, I've toured with him for like 10 years. Yeah. From like, 07 to like 2015, 2016. So, you know, we had a great run. I toured all over, over the world. Mm -hmm. You know, Australia, New Zealand, also, everywhere in the world, every continent. Are y'all still friends? You know what I'm saying? Y'all still cool? Yeah, we're good, of course. <laughs> we don't have no enemies in music. True. <laughs> enemies. <laughs> now we got to ask a yeah, question, I'm, you know? You're not, you're yeah, never yeah know. I'm saying him, he, he was a mentor, that, you know. It was a, it was a it was a school of um, touring and stagecraft. So during that time, you know, I performed in stadiums, forty, fifty thousand people, eighty thousand people. So I developed my stagecraft during touring those beginning years with him. Right. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so I give him give him respect for that. You know, and and UB40, which is a big legendary reggae band from the Europe. Mm -hmm. You know, through that situation, I'm on their album from 2008. Man, Shaggy Link. You know, so it's been a, it's been like a school. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So so why the name change? I know you was Benetton the Menace. That's how I know you are. All right. All right. So so let me just correct you on that. So Benetton is my name, right? Mm -hmm. AKA the Menace was a time frame. So oh. everything was an alias. You know, you know, like we have Vibes Scott tell the teacher right. and World Boss. Right. Benetton is the name. The Menace was in, you know, the introduction stages of my, my career because I was a DJ I was a DJ, I was a selector. Mm -hmm. So when I was on the mic, I talk hype on the mic, them call me the menace. Um, as time went on, you know, I I used to color my hair back in other days, but they would color me here in the 20, 2016 or 2015. Mm -hmm. And I called the blonde hair that I did, the, 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 the hairstyle that I did, Jack Frost. Jack Frost. Mm. But the, right. So when I started recording music then, I started saying Jack Frost in the song. And I'm a song them. And I'm a remix them, the Rihanna remix, all of that. Right. And then, you know, the, the nickname just fit. Benetton, a.k.a. Jack Frost, which is a new stage in my life. So if you call me the menace, it's people that know me from back in the days like yourselves. Right. Mm -hmm. right. I call me Jack Frost is, is, is used to the current branding of my name. You know, it's an evolution. I still remember one of the very oh. first songs that I heard from you, which was the remix you did to T-Pain's Buy You a Drink. Mm. <laughs> Which was, that was a, and yeah, I quote, yeah, yeah. buy your own damn drink. <laughs> yeah, big time. Big time. <laughs> buy your own damn drink. <laughs> Which is a reverse play, yeah. Play on words. Right. So that was 07, to be exact. Exactly. 2007. Yes, I remember that. Yeah, man, yeah, man. So the back story is, you know, when I was a selector and I made the transition to becoming an artist, a lot of a lot of um, producers or Jamaican producers per se wasn't they wasn't voicing me. They was like, "Y'all yeah, fine artists," and because of that, now I said, "You know what? Mega just do remixes to capture people's attention." Right. So I started flipping remixes to get me global attention because the, the all the big rhythms and all the producers from Jamaica they wasn't they, they wasn't interested in recording any Jamaican acts from America. So the loophole was I created a buzz by doing these remixes. I did Sean Kingston remix. Um, and you know, the actual artists, them, them reach out and talk about it on them vlogs. And you know, I, I started doing that for a period of time until I, until I started producing my own music. Right. And when I started producing my own music, the people that liked my remixes started tuning into my original material. Yeah, yeah that's, how, that's how I remember it. That's how I remember right, it. Right, right. If, big I, time, if big I'm time. not mistaken, me and you, First linked on MySpace, if you remember that. 
Jesus. <laughs> right. But what I, what I know is, wait, wait, you used to work for um, Shady, right? Yeah. You Shady remember, Records? Yeah, you remember that. Yes, 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 yes. We forget to see him old cast. Yeah, listen, I always tell people it's G Money. Uh huh. I evolve, I evolve like cell phones. If technology evolves, I have to evolve with it. Why exactly. stay complacent? Right. Right? Mm -hmm. As time goes on, as we live on the earth, we have to evolve with time. So mm -hmm. kudos to you. Because if you never mention it, we wouldn't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> we're, 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 still, we're still there. We're still here. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Tell us, tell us about the wow. new. Tell us about the new song, bro. I love this jackpot song. I love the video. We are killing Give it here. Us. We are killing it here on Laser Give 101. Us. I love it. I love. I need to know the the concept. Who did the beat? The beat is bananas. <laughs> But you know what the yeah, beat reminds yeah. me of a little bit? It reminds me of Little Kim's old song. No matter what people say, right. we got it go. It reminds me of that. Yeah. I mean, but it's bananas. Tell me about the right. song. Right. How, how did it all, all right, come so together? It's a, it's a, all right. So the concept, basically, you know, 2020 was a crazy year for everybody. Right. And I shot the video during the pandemic, like in September, between September and the end of December. Um. You know, music, where, where dance all is concerned, there hasn't been a song, I haven't heard a new song in a while that, that sing about fun and give you a great energy. I agree. So I concur. You know, and because I've been touring, I know what the world loves because you have dance all from Jamaica, then you have dance all that the rest of the world gravitates to. I'm a fan of the 90s dance all. I'm a fan of the Sean Pauls, the Shaggy's, the, the, the Showtime rhythm. You know, when, when dance all is sweet, when, right. when the whole world gravitated to it. Right. So I'm mean, being you know, that I was a selector and I'm still a DJ in my mind. You, you know, I know what people like. You know what people like to hear. So the, the track was created by a producer named Ransom Beats, um, which is, he, he made the beat and it's my production. And, you know, I just say, you know, anything you deem as successful is a jackpot. You know, you, you leave a bad relationship, you get into a new one, you hit the jackpot. Mm. You know what I mean? If you have a better relationship, you, you, you leave an old house or you... you you evolve in life, you hit the jackpot. Anything that you deem is successful, you hit the jackpot. Anything. So, conceptually, the video was shot in the Bronx and in Atlanta. There was a there was a restaurant named Zona de Cuba, which you see in, in the video is like a, a, a Latin feel. Really nice. Right. And the band that you see in the video is also a band that plays at the Latin club. So, you know, I had went there like prior couple months before I shot the video and I seen the band and I said listen I have a you know I have a rhythm and a song that this band fits perfectly with because the the bass line that's played in the in the actual beat is the, the same instrument you see the guy playing in the video mm -hmm. which is a bass guitar right and um yeah so I put all these components together I um I directed alongside my brother and Deuce Benny and um conceptually you know just like I put my music together I put my videos together 90 percent of my videos I direct you know what I mean? Nice. And, you know, we we, we, we we put the dance hall element with the dancers and, you know, I, I, I the casino element and everything we you see in the video, everything I say in the song, you see in the video. Because a lot of artists, their videos don't match the song. Right. <laughs> so I'm a fan of make the video make sense. So when people see the video and, and hear the song, they go together. It's synonymous. True. Mm -hmm. It's a fun. It's a fun video. It's a very fun video. And I, when you guys dropped it, I was like, "Wow, this is bananas!" The video, like you just said, matches the song, and it's really fun. Yeah, yeah cool. You yeah, you brought it back to that, uh, and I just mentioned this to Sean Paul not too long ago. You brought it back mm -hmm. to when that when that sound was authentic, that authentic dancehall song from back right. in the, back in the nineties when, right. when we fell in love with dancehall. You know what I mean? Right. Exactly. And was so that's, that's, was that's, that what you was going I, for with this? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because um, again, traveling the world and 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 being in um Saint Martin, being in Australia, being in Africa, being everywhere else, seeing what the world is gravitating to, the dance hall that the people that we used to love, it's missing in the current um dance hall climate. Right. You understand? You know, not to take any anything away from all of the artists, them, you know, but some of them, the music and the rhythm, them sound like what them call dance hall trap. Meanwhile, right. Justin Bieber and, and Rihanna is hitting the charts with the um, the traditional sound. So why why would I miss that? 
why would I miss that wave? You, you know, if, funny, if funny enough. The one thing, let me just stick you in that department. Funny enough, you said that, brother. Sean Paul mentioned them same two names you just did in the same analogy that you just did. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I mean, it's fact, though. It's facts. I mean, you know, I've been, I'm plus Africa right now. Afrobeats, the reason why it's it's resonating, because it sounds like Africa. It sounds, you hear the traditional sounds in it. Right. It's an influence. Everything comes from Africa. Dance are inspired by Afrobeats and all the other different genres. But at the same token, Afrobeat is sticking to tradition. So when you hear certain instruments, you hear a certain, just like in the jackpot rhythm, you hear certain elements in it that seem traditional. You hear the right. bass line. You hear the, when we say big up my ancestors, I talk about big up my ancestors. You know what I mean? We carry everything back. And, you know, just everybody can identify with every line in the song. True. Everything you post up, they my screenshot, try to figure out your lifestyle, they my idiot from certain elements. You know, we have to detach. I wouldn't like we say them have to stand back because, yo, we hit the jackpot. Top chop a lifestyle, money chop chop. Yeah? We money green like WhatsApp. Damas Romanek yellow like Snapchat. No, she claims she have the wap wap. All right, prove it to make your Snapchat. Come on. Because if you're loving uh, all that, mega take back the love and delete your contacts. <laughs> <laughs> Word play, boy. Word play. Simple. Oh, man. Simple, man. Oh, goodness. So so what's coming up next for you, bro? What, 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 you, you got the single, which is fire. What's next? All right. Well, I'm 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 dropping an EP called Precision, like mm-hmm. Precision with two E's, like pre P R E E, like a pre somebody decision, right. one word, Precision. More word I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which you know basically ultimately stands for timing. You know what I mean? Or accurate, very very precise. So, you know, hopefully by the fourth quarter, end of 2021, um, top of 2022, um, I'll be dropping more visuals with more content, Afro beat. Afro dancehall, dancehall, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, just a variety of music, and you know, not too many features, but this is what I want. Okay, that's what I was gonna ask you. Next question: You took the words out of my mouth. Who anybody <laughs> we can look anybody we can look forward to on the EP? Well, well, we're working working on the jackpot remix, so Ooh. that should be a great surprise. Ooh. Chaos and up near. Ooh, <laughs> ooh. You know? what, what what name? What what name? What artist you guys feel fit that remix? I just called his name. I just called okay, his name. SPZ. <laughs> SPZ will fit that easy. Mm, Big I, time. I could see Big time. I could see what's her name? Um Shansia? No. Um uh, oh, that? No, Sean Paul just mentioned her name. Um uh, uh oh gosh, I'm getting a break. Right? Kingdom? No, homegirl. Sexy. Um Shansia. No. No. Who? No. Oh gosh, I can't think of her name right now. <laughs> Super Kid loves She's her. Jamaican? Yeah, Super Kid loves her. Um she was on the, the, the song with Sean Paul and, and Idris Elba. Spice. No. No, no. no. Oh, Steph London. Thank oh, you. Steph London. Oh. Thank you. I'm sorry, I'm getting old. I'm getting Steph old. London. Steph London. Steph yeah. London. She would fit that for real. That's who I talking about. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, but you know, so, do, do you? I mean, I would love well, to. You, you know, we're putting this thing in the universe, so, you know. Yeah, that's we'll true. work on it. That's true. Work, work, we'll work. On it. And make sure when you release it, we get it first. Of course, of course. The family, man. I want to say big up you guys as well. Super Kid also. Yeah, big um, up Super. For supporting music over the years, you know what I mean? And, mm-hmm. and just as individuals just growing and, and, and evolving in life and doing what you guys are doing just to keep the flame going in, in St. Martin, you know what I mean? Because yeah. man, I was. I, mean, I always tell people I'm a, I'm a place that I'm a home, you know. You love it here. G Money, I don't place. want yeah, it man. first. I don't want it first. Me want it on dub plate <laughs> oh, first. Yeah, <okay>, Mr. DJ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, of course. Can we get a jackpot uh, dub for Outcast, please? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You okay. know, you know what's so crazy? When we sent the jingles them the other day, I was like, wait a minute, somebody need a dub now. But <laughs> I'm like, G Money don't play a song, and no. I don't know if Super Kid play a song. You still? Like a song, uh-huh. you know? Yeah. It's all yeah, man. Just say the word, Outcast. Outcast, you, you, in front of everybody it, on the radio, yeah. Outcast, Ring that like bell, G Money. Super, jackpot dub soon, ASAP. Ring that bell. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, man, definitely. So so you so you're still based in, in, in New York? Based in New York, but the world is my per, my playground. You know what I mean? I'm, <laughs> I like I'm, that. A, I'm a global citizen. I like that. Uh, well, not not uh, as much in this world to, as we're going with the COVID, but <laughs> I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we that's another thing. But 
you know, big up to all the people that's protecting themselves. Um, you know, um, rest in peace to those that lost family members from this mm -hmm. dangerous disease. But just protect yourself. You know, what I mean, I think your your brain, a, a healthy a healthy body and a, and a healthy diet doesn't need any vaccines. You know, true. But you have to just make your own decision. Anything you want to do, protect yourself. True. True. Well, Benetton, uh, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I want to thank you so much for joining us here today. Uh, tell us how they, how, tell the people who's listening right now if they want to reach out to you on social media, if they want to see the video, how they could do that. What's the socials? What's everything online? What they got to do? All right. Um, I want to big up Ski, my good friend Ski. Big up yourself every time. Um, so you can reach me. Google is my friend. Um, social media. I'm a fan. Benetton <laughs> Music. You could type Benetton Music on all social media platforms. That's B-E-N-I-T-O-N -E Music. One word. Mad. And um, the video, Jackpot video, you can go to my YouTube channel. YouTube Benetton Music. Type Benetton Jackpot. You'll see my videos are more like films. Mm -hmm. So, you know, for those of you who haven't seen it, just put in the comment section what's your favorite, favorite part of this of the, of the video. All right. And um, that's about it. And, you know, big up to all the people that's been supporting me, all the people them in St. Martin, all the people them all over the world, everybody listening to this radio station right now. Just big up yourself and love and respect to you guys. Super kid, big up anywhere you're there. And, yeah, stream hit the jackpot. All um, digital platforms. Mad. Benetton, thank you so much for joining us, my brother. Blessed weekend to you. Keep in touch. And me, I look for the dub plate. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Big up yourself. <laughs> Thank you, bro. All the best, man. Stay safe. Give thanks. Give thanks. Respect. One time. Best up, man. Shout out to Benetton for joining us, man. Yeah, Mr. Jack oh, Frost. Jack Frost. Jack Frost. Wow, wow, wow. He's a good dude, man. Real, real Absolutely. cool dude. Real down to earth. Um, uh, every time I run into him, uh, we did in Carousel when Maxi Priest was doing Carousel. We connected there. We connected um, here. We connected. I mean, we, I went to the Jerk Festival in Queens. He was performing. We connected there. So shout out to him. Real good dude. I'm walking in the village. I know. I was. I, I saw walking him Walking into the village. I saw him. Someone tapped me on my shoulder and said, yo, the brethren over there for call you. I said, who that? Yeah, man. He's leaning on the wall. Chilling. Like man from here. Sure. You know what I mean? like, He's home. <laughs> that, He's home. That blew my mind. He's home. I'm like, dude, what the hell are you doing here? He is home. Shout out to Benetton. Where have him there, man? Big up there. Word M up.